I'm Val with hammer in hand out here building the Pumpkin Ridge Passive House. And the wall we're looking at today is on the second floor of the house. And for the most part, it's a standard wall. We have the headers are pretty standard header, double top plate. The only thing different that you, you'll notice right now looking at it would be that the studs are two foot on center instead of 16 on center, which is pretty typical for anybody doing some advanced framing or a higher efficiency home. So at this point that could be considered standard too. So with our rough openings, we route it out instead of cut it out to make sure that we have a really clean edge and that helps us get a good air sealing. And what we use is a router with a, uh, a bottom bearing flush cutting bit on it. And that bit's actually a little different than the one that we normally would use. The normal one would have a point here so we can just plunge it right into the plywood and not having to hit it with the back of our hammer claw or something else to create a hole for it to go into. That leaves you with this perfectly flush to your framing edge, which gives you much better chance at getting, you know, if, if you were going with a standard thing where you didn't have a window buck, you would have your flashing, you know, in our case we use a liquid applied flashing and that creates a, a almost seamless uh, transition for the flashing. So with our rough openings, we'll start with the window frame size and give ourselves a half inch reveal from the window frame to the outside of the window buck all the way around in order to give us a good air sealing and insulation gap. And then from there, our window buck is made out of three quarter inch material so that when we actually frame our main rough opening, you know, we're, we're adding that half inch on either side plus three quarter on either side. So you have to make sure that your rough opening, it, it, it ends up being considerably larger than your actual window frame in this situation. And then our buck is just constructed out of three quarter inch plywood and stapled together to minimize splitting of the plywood. And at the sill, we have created a, a slope. And in our case, we went with a 10 degree slope, but some people might go with a 15 degree slope. And this slope transition here, it's flat, and this will be level when the wall is tilted up. This transition will be the face of the window. So the window will sit from here back and this will all be covered in a, a liquid applied flashing material and this will promote drainage to the outside therefore minimizing any water problems down the road what we've had to do to con to have our air barrier continue from our sheathing plane up to our buck around our buck and back to the window plane which is which is where the air barrier plane is going on this project we have to make sure that we air seal up the joints and back down the joints of the plywood to make sure that that is a continuous air barrier. And then once before the windows are set and in a future video, we'll show you what we do with our liquid applied flashing. This flashing has been installed to gap all the joints and all the seams, hence the name of it. And then we'll use a different, slightly different product to actually coat this face of the wood in here where it, out beyond to the back side of where the window sits to, to finish off our uh, air and water sealing detail.